Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome you to episode uh, night. Uh <laughs> couldn't decide whether it was nine or eight, so it's night. Of um Let's play Kirby's Epic Yarn. And last time, which was back in February, was the last time I posted a video of this, is um my Wii crashed during a recording. And it was it was been uh it was been, yeah. It has been handicapped ever since. And then miraculously, just the other day, like two days ago, maybe even just one day ago, it just randomly fixed itself, and I have no idea why. It just did. At least I hope it fixed itself, otherwise I might be screwed. I hope it doesn't, like, crash mid-recording again. Hopefully I won't have to put this LP on another hiatus. Jeez, man, but... I've gained, like, so many new subscribers since I, like... Since I had to put this LP on hiatus. I've gained, like, hundreds of new subscribers, so... I'm sure many of you don't even know, didn't even know that this LP was going on, and now you're probably gonna go back and watch the old episodes. And those old episodes, uh, I don't know. I went back and watched them just to make sure I was caught up with everything, and I was on my cur on the right file and everything. And um, they are just not that good in my opinion, but whatever. All right. So last time we ended off in Dino Jungle, which is what we're doing now, I guess. Jeez, now this level's just gonna stick forever in my mind, just because of that, just because of the traumatic experience of the crash. The evil crash that just destroyed the LP. Uh, oh god. My Wii, my Wii was making that weird sound for a minute there. Oh, it's been doing that a little bit, but not, not too much. It's been doing the, like, once every, like, few minutes. It makes a weird, like, grinding sound, which usually... <sighs> Did I really just do that? Wow. Which usually indicates a crash is, is uh, nearing. Uh, but then it just like goes back to no normal sound for another few minutes, so it only does that for like a second or two. So hopefully I'm still okay. Oh yeah. What I think I might have actually fixed is that um, my mom went out and like bought a uh, dude. I want that patch up there. She went out and bought a cleaning disc for her DVD player because she need because the DVD player was all dirty and stuff, and it was starting to fail at reading discs, uh, da -da -da -da. okay. Uh, and then I figured, well, hey, I might as well try it, it says it works on gaming consoles, but apparently it only works with, like, Blu-ray gaming consoles, i.e. the PlayStation 3. Okay, and this is roughly where I crashed last time, so here we go. We're actually continuing with new stuff in the level now. Oh yeah, but I tried it with the Wii, and it, unfortunately, like, the Wii was unable to read the disc. Is there anything? No, there's nothing down there. Uh, oh, damn it, just a second. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I just had to do something really quick, but, um... Dude, what was I talking about? Well, yeah, I was talking about that cleaning disc. Um, yeah, I put it in the Wii, and it said it was unable to read the disc, which I figured was going to happen anyways. But then I tried playing, like, a game that would normally crash, such as Kirby's Epic Yarn, obviously. And then... I don't know why, but all of a sudden, it just started working. Even though the cleaning disc didn't actually work, it didn't actually, like, start cleaning or anything. It just worked. I don't know. Or maybe it was just some random fluke. I have no idea. Regardless, though, it seems my Wii is working, but for how much longer, I have no idea. For all I know, it could crash tomorrow. It could crash tonight while I'm recording, which would royally suck, but... Uh, I just need to wait and see what fate has in store for me, you know? Man, I'm so out of touch with this game, I'm just like... Well, I'm doing okay, but, like, I don't know, it just feels weird to be playing it again, but... Or to be LPing it again, anyways. I'm used to Star Fox now with all its action and intensity, and this is just like nice and soothing, relaxing music and everything. It's just pretty cool. Alright, so we'll head down here. Oh, yeah, what is today? Today is June 23rd. It's about to be June 24th because I'm recording this at 11 something at night. And, um, tomorrow. Dude, I missed a patch down there. Damn it. Yeah, I missed a patch. Like, if you just look down there. Oh, crap, crap. Uh. Just look like right down, right down below me. There's like a little thing in the wall. It's kind of covered in foliage, and there's a patch inside there. I missed it, and I can't go back for it. Boo hoo. <laughs> yeah, but my final exam is tomorrow. Like my final final exam. It's my chemistry exam, which is going to be hell. But it's the last exam, so I suppose I can just tough it out for one more day. Just one more frickin' day, and then I'm out of school for like two months and 15 days. Oh no! <laughs> I just got rolled up like a... I don't know, like a fucking pig in a blanket or something. I'm sorry for cussing. <laughs> that was like a 
su superfluous cuss. Sorry about that. Oh man. Jeez, I'm used to like Star Fox 64 now and how like like I can just like use the quotes from that and it just guides me my commentary through the episode because I hardly have to talk about anything like actual creative, especially if it's an episode mesmerized by the game playing through it for the first time. But in this one, I'm not playing through for through it for the first time. Um, it will turn blind eventually towards the final world or so because I haven't actually beaten this game yet. But um, for now, it's just kind of awesome. I don't know. And I have to come up with my own commentary for a change. Damn it! Oh, I don't get a free ride on commentary this time. No more slow ride for me. Oh, of course I don't really like fog hats, so whatever. Right, dude, get the last thing. What the hell am I behind? Is this like a shower curtain or some kind of dainty thing? I don't know. Uh, oh, this part is really fun. I remember this. I remember this from so long ago. Man, oh my god, look at his eye. It just turned so red. That's scary. Ooh. <laughs> Scares me. Oh. Man, this is so claustrophobic somehow. It's just like getting those get uh, beads inside the dinosaur's mouth is just like, dude. All right, this thing, I think it takes us over to the dinosaur egg, which is where another tr one of our treasures will be, I hope. Maybe. Maybe it's just beads, I don't know. Uh, nope, it's our Bronto slide. Fun. All right, it can be kind of tricky getting back up here, unless you just time your jumps appropriately like I did. Oh, yeah. Jeez. For some reason, like, the eyes of all the dinosaurs in this level, they're just, like, so round and bulgy and just, like, amazing. I don't know. Ooh, I got, like, the best patch. Cool. On the spinning wheel. Yay, lots of fireworks. Man, I should have started this video with fireworks to celebrate the end of the hiatus. Maybe I should. <laughs> Maybe I'll just put that in now. Just randomly. Whatever. Oh, we had fireworks in our town recently for just no reason at all. We just wanted fireworks. It was fun. It was so much fun. Oh, maybe it was to celebrate me beating Super Metroid or finishing the LP of Super Metroid. I don't know. Ooh, brand new hide and seek, hide and seek stage. Yeah, <laughs> forgot all about those mini games. Honestly. All right, what does this do now? Oh, my Wii is suspiciously quiet. I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. Ooh, hot chili peppers. Man, <laughs> even volcano can't handle that insane heat. That must have been a ghost pepper or something. Holy shoot! <laughs> <laughs> Night. Oh, that's an awesome symbol. Uh, oh, is this the bo oh? This is the boss. Holy crap! Uh, what time? Uh, I'm up to like just under 10 minutes. It looks like so. Uh, I could get the boss in this video, but for now, I w actually want to go back and do that Zeke hide and Zeke stage. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh man, but those are so boring sometimes. I hope this one's exciting. Maybe the dinosaurs will make it exciting for me. I don't know. Uh, dude, oh my god. Kirby froze there for a split second on the loading screen, and I was like, what? Oh, don't screw me now, man. Alright, Dino Jungle, um, three minutes? Can do! Oh, jeez. I should show off the two-player of this game someday. Maybe if I go to PAX Prime, I can just bring my Wii with me, and then I can, uh, do the two-player a little bit. With someone who'd be willing, who's gonna be there. Oh. I could probably also do the Star Fox like versus mode with someone while I'm there too. Oh, maybe I can get a few people and we can just have fun. Have lots of fun. I can have lots of fun losing to everyone in Star Fox. So there's a guy down there. Get him, dude. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Jeez, that Brontosaurus almost ate him. Well, he doesn't have a mouth, so he can't eat him. Oh. Jeez, ever since watching Nintendo Capri send Yoshi's story, and there's like some levels that are just like yarn or like fabric in the background, like those like random levels that have just like pants in the background like the background is just one big butt covered in jeans it reminded me so much of this game dude there's one there yes it just reminded me so much of this game just i don't know so now whenever i play this game i'm going to be thinking of that and thinking of the guy's butt in yoshi's story <laughs> which is that oh it uh, is it yoshi's story for a minute i thought it was yoshi's island but i'm pretty sure it's yoshi's story all right dude i want that guy Come on, dude, 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 get him, get him, get him, come on, yes, yes, sweet. I don't care if I have to go all the way back, at least I got the guy. I got him, man. Two for the price of one, grandma, no, not really. Man, I've been still, like, using so many other people's catchphrases in my videos lately, it's just ridiculous, man. 
Jeez, I've run out of, like, original commentary. Like, I used to have actually pretty original commentary, and now for whatever reason, I just don't. Right, here's the last guy, just in plain sight. Oh, no matter what you've been told, guy, um, usually the best hiding spot is not in plain sight. Only in very rare occasions is that actually true. Right. Oh, let's see, what do we get for this? Well, we're gonna get a fabric, obviously, but... What fabric? Yay! Found a bunch! It's amazing! Amazing. That looks like a treasure map a little bit. A dino egg fabric. Cool. Oh, why is my mouth so dry all of a sudden? I don't know. I suppose I could take a drink of my crystal light here. Yeah, crystal light. <laughs> Not coke. I'm out of coke for now. Oh, jeez. I've never actually specified this, but every time I refer to coke, I'm actually referring to diet coke. Like, I, I'm not even kidding, like, for those of you who thought I was actually drinking Coke every time, no, I'm drinking Diet Coke all the time. I I honestly think it tastes better than actual Coke. I don't know, for some reason, actual Coke is just too sugary for me, which sounds really, uh, stupid. Pfft, stupid? Really, stupid. <laughs> I just said stupid. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, um, do I have time? Oh, I'm up to, like, 13 minutes here. Eh, you know what, I think I'm actually going to save that for the next episode, because we've had plenty of long videos involving Star Fox and everything, so I think it's time for an actual short video for once. So, next time on Kirby's Epic Yarn, we are going to go ahead and eat some hot wings. So, thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night. Yes, I made it through the episode without crashing! Boom.